Samir Khan's decision to change trainers. He's building up to his next fight with Dean Powell now in his corner. Well, Khan expects a tough fight in June, but he is confident as ever and sees it as just another stepping stone towards achieving bigger and better things. Yeah, you know, he's, I'm up against a tough fighter, Michael Gomez. You know, it's going to be, he's going to bring something else on the table. He's got a different style. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, um, first time in Birmingham, I'm fighting on the 21st of June. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm going to put a good performance on. I want my fans to be happy in Birmingham and give them a chance to see me fight. Um, where, where is this fight in your career? We, um, you obviously got your ambitions for the world title. Whereabouts are you at the moment then with this yeah, fight? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm very close at the moment. Um, I'm getting nearer and nearer to what I want to achieve in boxing. And this fight is, a, um, this fight is one, of the things that, one of the steps I have to take. And I'm going to beat this guy and I'm going to go on to bigger things. Uh, going on to bigger things, uh, you have to believe him, that's for sure. So he's, uh, fi he's fighting former British super featherweight champion Michael Gomez. Uh, it's in Birmingham, June 21st. What do you make of it? Well, at first this was a fairly controversial choice because Gomez's best years were probably four or five years ago, or three years ago, definitely, at a lighter weight. But I can see the sense in it. First of all, it's good that a British boxer is picking up a nice payday in a primetime terrestrial TV slot. Instead of a guy who lacks motivation from Portugal, Spain, Italy or Denmark. And that's where the list. Maybe bigger names, guys, that re guys whose records look better, but they're not really better. And they'd come in, nick their 35,000, not pay any tax and vanish back to Oslo or somewhere or Madrid. No, no, I want Gomez to come in, not pay any tax and vanish back to Manchester. <laughs> no, you know, you know what I mean. No, I want Gomez involved. Gomez... Gomez isn't a light, isn't a big lightweight, okay? He wasn't necessarily a big super featherweight. But what he will do is he will be able to produce a performance that could, in some way, show Khan what he's going to get when he mixes it up with Mexicans who use their elbows, their shoulders, and the backs of their hands first before they throw any punches. He's dirty, Gomez. He admits he's dirty. And he might try and get under Khan's skin. And the one thing is, 10,000 people in the finest indoor arena in the Midlands, the NIA in Birmingham, fantastic city, by the way, since all the redevelopment. You appreciate that, OK? Yeah. Let's not be too London... Local tourist let's, not, <laughs> let's not be too London-centric <laughs> on yeah. all our TV Absolutely. shows. Fantastic place. The NIA, brilliant. They want to go out and have a nice meal and a drink afterwards. And it's a great arena. And I think Gomez has a chance to get under Khan's skin. So it might only last one round or two rounds, but it'd be lively. Well, what is Khan's form at the moment? I mean... Khan's unbeaten in 17, 13 stoppages, ranked inside the top 10 of all the, all the four proper sanctioning bodies. Because he's kind of been out of the limelight a little bit recently with the, with the Khan's Aggies and the Well, that's the thing, you know, you know, the problem is, Khan's a great attraction. You've got, you know, he's still getting five, six million viewers on ITV, mm -hmm. but when you're dealing with uh, Joe Kalzaki, when you're dealing with Rick and when you're dealing with... David Hay, let's get it right. Here's a guy who we've had in this studio. He's fought twice now on Satanta. He's about to become bigger whisper it than all of them, in yeah, my opinion. Yeah. So Khan sort of drops down to fourth place. But now, saying that he was there for the Kalzagi weighing and brought on as a celebrity, so that was nice for him. He looked like a bit like cartoon suit on, didn't he? With <laughs> wide shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it was like something from Dynasty. I think he borrowed it from Joan Collins. <laughs> I think he did. But, but still, the stage was there and they were introducing and him. And they know. loved him and he yeah. met with lots of people and he talked to different trainers and he was there and he, he put, he had press conferences in a massive press conference. You would have been inside yeah, there, yeah, Roger. Yeah. He met with lots of Americans and he was, on the, he was on the lips of a lot of Americans. They fancy this Amir Khan. They're all uh, picking each other up, aren't they? Yeah, God, they're it's a bit of a loving, actually, yeah. out there. <laughs> but quickly, on Khan Gomez, he's, he's 30 years of age. I've seen him there in the press conference. He looks old enough to be his father. It, it, but he's... Listen, let me just say something. For, on June 21st, Gomez will turn 31, OK? He was born in a ditch. His dad crashed a car in Dublin, taking his mother to the hospital, OK? He spent his 21st birthday in prison because he had a few drinks and then he had a few fights on the streets of Manchester. And now at 31, as he said, said, I was born in a ditch, 21 I was in prison, at 31 I'm going to be winning a Commonwealth title. He brings a little bit of quality to the table. And I mean quality, I mean quality gob. And we always like a little bit of quality gob. Can he upset Khan or does Khan march on no, the No, he's not big enough to upset Khan, but he makes it very interesting for three or four rounds. And he gets a nice payday. All right, so coming up, plenty more to talk about with...